This program is brought to you by Emory University. You're moving around. Yeah. I woke up yeah, and nice my right eye was just nothing but colors, red, yellow, uh, beautiful colors, but only colors. Jackie Carswell realized then yeah. that her failing eyesight was far more serious than she first thought. Turns out she is one of over 9 million people in the United States with macular degeneration, a progressive eye disease that destroys central vision. Is this hard work? Mm -hmm. These days she undergoes regular training sessions at Emory Eye Center. She is learning how to better use a miniaturized telescopic lens that doctors here surgically implanted in her right eye to help her see better. Emory is one of a select group of eye care centers in the United States and the only one in Georgia that offers this cutting edge technology. Jackie is one of the first patients in the state to receive the implant. I could get just glasses fitted, you know, to help me see, or I could have this surgery, which was the implant that I have, and uh, I chose the implant. But the procedure is not a quick fix, nor appropriate for all patients. It needs to be somebody who is upbeat, who is very motivated, and is very realistic. Dr. Primo runs Emory's Low Vision Services and is the only optometrist in the country to have examined patients from the clinical trial several years after they got the implant. As a result, she's developed a pretty good sense of what type of patient will thrive best with this type of technology. And had I not had that opportunity, I think we wouldn't be as far along as we are now in understanding what makes a really good candidate. How many ounces is that? Two ounces? Jackie is still adjusting to the new lens and despite certain limitations, anticipates her eyesight will continue to improve. That was one of my biggest issues was that I could not drive. Uh, but then other issues that were smaller than that became real important, like I couldn't read a recipe. I couldn't read anything in a book or a paper. I couldn't look up a telephone number. I uh, couldn't see the buttons to turn my stove on. Okay, excellent. I think it's important that somebody has some very specific functional goals that they wish to achieve, whether it happens to be reading or watching television or you know, card playing, whatever it happens to be, knitting, whatever it is. There has to be some specific functional goals, otherwise this sort of rehabilitation can't take place. Jackie has made strides in the week's sensor surgery. Simple things like shopping for groceries have become a benchmark for a greater level of independence. She is such a good student. If they could have seen me, they'd have seen a smile on my face thinking, boy, she really likes to buy groceries, you know, but it was, it was exciting. It really was to be able to go in there and do it myself. I want you to scan. You got to give it all you got. And you got to want it to work and, uh, and it'll work. And I know this is even going to get better. I know because I feel that positive about it. The preceding program is copyrighted by Emory University.